In this video, I'm going to share how Moat is one of the best Google Chrome add-ons, particularly when you're using it for Google education. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore. I'm a teacher here in Dubai. I create a range of different edtech videos. This video is going to focus on Moat. Now, if you haven't already heard of Moat, Moat is an add-on that is free. And as a result, you can start to record and share audio files using the software. As a teacher, I really appreciate things that are versatile and save me time. Most recent updates really accommodate that and are fantastic. To access it, it's really simple. All you need to do is go onto Moat through Google and just add it through Google Chrome. Once that's done, you'll need to sign in and it's really simple. What I want to do is jump on the laptop and show you a little bit more about how fantastic it is. Another powerful function is down here is the moat on Google Classroom. Now, this is really powerful for a range of different reasons. You can set instructions verbally, especially this is great when children perhaps don't understand or can't read typed instructions. So you can set that verbal instruction. Here is my stream. Don't forget to save this post. And I could just leave the verbal. Don't forget to save this post. Tick. And then it's going to add that in once I tick it in a second. But then what that's really good with, once I send that, is that also children are going to be able to access that too. When the children have done their work, then you can add your verbal feedback through Moat. I know I've shared that as a hack within the Google add-ons uh, video that I created for Moat. That for me, when it was uh, online learning, was the most powerful feature of Moat. So please, if you're still doing online learning, hybrid learning, and you need to give some feedback, I recently did some hybrid learning for someone who was still away, I still use Moat. To, to give that feedback because one, it's quicker for me and two, it means more to the child because they're hearing your voice and the way that you're phrasing things. I teach year three, so that can be a little bit challenging when I'm typing things for them to understand what I'm saying. So yeah, Google Classroom, fantastic. Let's show you another really powerful way that you can now use Moat in the classroom. Up here, you'll see the add-on. Now, if I tap that, you can see a range of different ones. What I can do now is record a Moat voice note. Now you can see here, I've got a few different ones. So one thing that's worth noting is that all of the add-ons are saved in your My Drive to their own folder. So if you ever need to access those again, then you can still come back to those and rename them through here too. Um, you can get all the links, but it's quicker through the, the way that I've just shown you. Uh, I can tap that and I've copied it to the clipboard. So I can just add that moat, add that voice document into any, any document. Okay, so here, I'm just going to show you. Hi guys, check out this video. I've added that in and it's copied to the clipboard. Now what I can do with that, which is really cool, is I can then look into here and then I can look at the transcript and I can translate that. I can save it as a specific thing so I don't forget what it's called. And then I can also copy this and turn it into a QR code, which then obviously I can then share with my class within the classroom. So if let's say you're creating a library in your class, you can then have a range of different QR codes in your class so that the children scan the QR code and hear your voice. Also, if you're doing emails, then you can also just put the clip into the email and then the child, if they're reading that email, can just tap that for your voice too. So so many different versatile options with using Moat. So let's look at Google Slides. So you may or may not be familiar with this. This is Google Slides. I've made many different videos about Google Slides. This in front of you, Moji Classrooms, I've made many tutorials uh, and how you can use links um, and all sorts of different things like that. What we're going to do is amplify this by adding Moat into the page. So what we're going to do, we're going to tap on here, click Start. And then from there, you can see my voice is recording. You can see this is going above. If I talk really loudly, you'll see it comes up. So then we're going to press tick. And then it's going to have a little bit of a think about it. Once it's done that, you can then either delete if you're not happy or just insert it. It's going to just take a little bit of time to think. And then you'll see it drops in, he says, optimistically, here. Now you've got many different options for this. Um, but all I want is for it to, to play on click. So when you touch it, when it's within the presentation, um, I'm not going to change anything uh, about the, the look of it, although you can do that in the adjust section just down here. 
what I'm going to do though is just drag it up to here. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that as the children are moving around, I want them to play it. Now you can imagine you can add lots of different instructions and things like that, and it's going to make it really, really versatile. So you can just add a range of different ones. We can just keep going with it. Hi there, guys. Click on this book to access Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And you can see then, because it's shorter, it won't take as long to set up. I'm going to insert it in. And then as we bring it into here, then I can just drag it just underneath there. Perfect. And as I said, you can change the color. I don't know what the limit is here, um, but I've tried up to six so far and it's been okay. From there, some different ideas of the ways that you can use this. Uh, this is a really good one. So this, as you can see, is a comic strip type thing, but without the uh, text, without the chat. So let the children insert the moat. It could be yourself and they need to write it or you could get the children to share what they are thinking about. Uh, so this person here, can I have a balloon, please? And this person's here. Sure, that'll be one dollar or whatever your currency is. Uh, so let's set that up. Hi there, please. Can I have one balloon? And then you'll obviously put that over the guy. And then from there, you can imagine as and when you're going down to the final section down here that it starts to get quite comical. So we'll drag that just into this guy and then that's ready to go. From there, obviously you could look at writing. So here is a picture. Can you think of your own sentences? And then children can start to articulate those sentences too. And then the children can start to add a little bit of intonation within their voice and really start to develop their storytelling through using moats. Uh, when we're looking at things like maths, one thing we could potentially do is spot the mistake. So here you can see obviously the nine is not on the right place value column. So you can say, oh, this is a mistake because the nine is not in the right column. And then you can drag that audio in there too. So there's lots of different versatile options here. I'd love to know what you would use this for too. Okay, so one of the other things I realized would be really beneficial for many teachers out there is that you can now film or record using Moat on emails. If you're teaching younger children like I am, that's gonna really benefit the children's learning because they'll be able to listen to those instructions, similar to as I said before, and then be able to hear your voice and go with the instructions there instead. So you can see down here, if we just tap this, hi there guys, uh, today we're gonna to be looking at a range of different subjects, maths, English, science, something like that. And then from there you tap that, that's gonna be available. You type in your recipients, and then you can obviously just send that once that's done. You can then use all the different functionality here, edit as and when needed. They've also got this so that they can see the transcript. And that brings me to the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and gained something from this video. As you can see, there's a range of different uses. Here is my challenge for you. How would you use Moat in the classroom? I've given you four different ways that I could use it with my class, but I wanna know how you would use it. Would you do something different with Bitmoji? Would you do something different with a different lesson? I'm sure there's lots of different ideas. Comment down below and let me know. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and make a range of different content, both about life in Dubai, teaching in Dubai, but also EdTech too. So feel free to check that out. If you haven't already had time to like the video, that's also appreciated. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Until then, I'm out.